Cover of book by Timothy Botts with sample of his calligraphy Timothy Botts is an artist who has a focus of calligraphy. He was born in Pennsylvania and currently resides in Glen Ellen, Illinois. He is well known for his transformation of Bible verses into pieces art. Timothy has published books, released single prints, been featured in museums, as well as having features within churches. Through years of experience, Timothy experiments with new styles and typefaces to represent what art he makes. Timothy is the husband to Nancy Botts and the father of three children. As a child, Botts felt like an outcast, until he had gotten inspiration to try art. This inspiration was from his first grade teacher, Mrs. Stanton, located in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Mrs. Stanton recognized the artistic ability that Timothy had and had faith in it. She continued as Timothy's art teacher throughout his elementary years and followed him into high school. During his sixth grade year, Botts had to do a poster project for school fair. For his project, he used a lettering book that had all different lettering styles that piqued his interest. In the following year, Timothy attended junior high where he met his now wife Nancy. Tim and Nancy dated through high school and went separate ways before going off to college. After attending high school, he was admitted and attended Carnegie Mellon University where he was still pursuing his art. During his freshman year at Carnegie Mellon, he was first introduced to calligraphy after having needed to take it for his graphic design major. Right after college, Timothy and Nancy married. Rather than being drafted to Vietnam, Timothy and Nancy were sent to Japan for three years where the two taught the Japanese some conversational English and where Botts took Japanese brush writing for five weeks. Throughout Timothy's career, he has formed his own font, or what he refers to as a visual language with the use of colors, letter styles, letter paths, and contrast and repetition. One of his daughters, along with her husband, had adopted three black children which gave Timothy more reason to create a new visual language that fit with African culture. Timothy used a mixture of runes-styled calligraphy as well as ancient African scripts he came across from some research of Saki Mafundikwa. He also included 19th-century American adaptations of black letter, round hand, early 20th-century bookhand, as well as urban graffiti. Timothy has been given multitude of opportunities to draw on walls of churches and other places that inhabit places of worship with selected murals of scriptures that can be found at Good Shepherd Lutheran. Cornerstone Church, Naperville Bible Church, Trinity Church of the Nazarene, St. Francis House High School in Wheaton and Advocate Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove. Timothy's art can be found in many formats other than walls which can be found in provided publishings. Timothy's past teacher has inspired him to return the favor and instruct others in calligraphy. Timothy's teaching can be found at the College of DuPage and Intermediate Class at the Fine Line in Street. Charles. Occasionally you can find Timothy on one of the six weekends workshops he hosts in other parts of the country or his workshop he hosts at the International Calligraphy Convention. Thanks for watching.